Sona. Ah, Honorable Marshal A. Dennis.
I'm sitting in the front.
Okay. I will come to explain. But you hear the thing, Jenna. Okay. Uh, and let your business say, this your thing. Every time I have a thing, go home. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm driving now. Yeah, okay, I'm driving now. 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 I'm driving Oh, they want to just make music by there. Yeah. I got a problem, Leo. Yeah. You get me? Yeah, I want a bus for a minute. Go there. So I will be covering it. This is Tony, and then I'll be going back all day to the store. Uh, 
Uh, okay, these are the sisters. That's the tomato. Their yeah, entrance. Oh, oh, oh. 
system of money and things like that ready for you. You have the opportunity to do whatever way you wanted to dress it. Anything you wanted to do, you did it. But some that some that never had the opportunity to not even know where their parents are, even know where they are great. So play with yourself, it's an opportunity given to you. I know you were so, I know you may so. Everything is over, you shall go back to your place in your main room. Mm. And you begin to know the hour you used to talk to her. You begin to understand where you came from. You no longer have that space for you again. That's the time to start. Amen. I'm not going to be going on, but I also have to start service. I can't think how they'll go through the service before we get to the very hour time. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Our God is good all of the time. All of the time. The pastor has said it. You know, looking at the time of the season and the kind of environment we're living in right now, we are blessed to see our mother. Some people did not see their relatives. When they went to the hospital, they get there and that they gone. They never lay eye on them. We are blessed to see our mother home going peacefully. So let us take heart and give it to the Lord Almighty. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our God is good. All the time. All of the time. God is good. And here we are here to mourn our mother and to see our home going. And uh, we will be going to our processional. It will be done by Pastor and the family. Amen. Amen. Okay, without delay, we're going to be calling our senior pastor for the Church of the Nazarene, for the Church of the Nazarene, Pastor Elizabeth too, for our opening prayer. <laughs> In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My mothers, my brothers, my sisters attend. The last night up to this time, the word of God has told us that to everything, no matter how high it is, we should still give thanks to the Almighty God that allowed it to happen. Amen. 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 You all have done your best. But it is the will of God, it is the time of God for her to go home. So that one for all, for we all to take heart and just pay the lot of respect to her. And so I want us to hymn this song one time, then we'll get into prayer. He is Lord. He is Lord. He Jesus. At this time, Lord, we have come to give thanks, to give honor and glory that you deserve, that you share with no man to you, God. Lord, you told us in your word, you said in difficult times, we should still remember that you are still God. You will never stop being God. So we want to say thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your servant that you have called upon to come home to rest, God. Right now, Father, we are presenting the family into your hands, Jesus, that you will come into their heart and give them that water to drink, God, to take away every pain and every sorrow from their father. Lord, it's only you that have the power to do. No man can do. So we are inviting you right now to come and take complete control. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Blessed Holy Spirit, we thank you, the family that are back home, Father, 
we send your Holy Spirit. There's no destiny in prayer. The Lord, you will surround them, the children, the grandchildren, the family member. Lord, that you will also be with them in the name of Jesus. We give you the glory and the honor because you deserve to be praised. Thank you and take your glory for who you are. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Philippians chapter 1, verse 23, 21 to 23. So this verse, the chapter and the verse is said very great things. Life is for us. Life is something that is given. And life is something that will be taken. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we're going to read from verses 1. Philippians 1, 21, 23. 21 reads, For me to live is Christ. To die is gain. Verse 22. For I am to go on living in the body. This will mean Fruitful labor for me. Yet what I what shall I choose? I do not know. 23, which is the last verse. I am torn between the two. I desire to depart and be with Christ, which is better by far. In Jesus' name. Amen. For you to suffer in this body. For you to continue to suffer in this body, and if the for better to be with Christ, mm -hmm. which one we prefer? Our life is the preferable part of it is to be with mm -hmm. Christ that far. Mm -hmm. So she chose to be with Christ. Mm -hmm. She chose to be with Christ, brethren, mm -hmm. because today, every day, at the day coming. We think about what we're wearing, what we will eat, what we will sleep, bills on our back, whatsoever. But to where she is, there is no payment of bill anymore. She done. She, done. Mm -hmm. she goes to live a life that is internal. She goes to live a life that is joyful, that is internal, and wishes it doesn't have an end. No suffering, no pain, no sorrow. So let us be blessed that our mother is going home. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Our God is good. All the time. All of the time. God is good. We will be having a selection by the Temple of God Choir. So, Sister Malu. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you know this one, you can join us. In the presence of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. First of all, I want to thank God for the life for another opportunity. As we celebrate the born of our mother, sister, and grandmother, God will look at son and say how great I am. Oh Lord, my God, when I in all so wonder, consider
Mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Wow, how great our mm -hmm. acknowledgement. It is time for, we had time today. Mm -hmm. Time is still in our favor. Still in our time. So, I'm yeah. going to give it to the family member. If we have anything to say, two minutes each. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Remember, uh, if you don't have nothing to say or you have card, just need a card. Amen? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I don't want to extend my thanks and appreciation to God. He knows the reason for all this problem. Before I continue, I want to thank all of you for your support, morally and financially, for everything you guys have done. I know my sisters in the heart, even though they're way younger, 
a minute, but we are too close. She's the one who are come on. She's peaceful. She doesn't argue with nobody. And the time you go to her house, she's there to receive you with peace and joy. And this one is Well, now I'm going to take care of the family member. My brother, my sister, and still the family. Everybody, Papa. I'm going to take care of my brother. I'm going to take care of my brother. This is a movie. No, it can't give us a movie. Oh God, oh God, 
The last lecture we have on Thursday with me and Joe is home. She advised Joe, and when she finished, she turned to me and told me that. When I told so the two we were talking about there, it just came for tapping. She said that Joe, tapping in the church, you're working, you're doing all your job, but learn how to data mm -hmm. and learn how to give. Mm -hmm. I said, Ma, that every day people will give, be giving. She said, Yeah, that why you see, you and your husband, although you can struggle, but your struggle can go far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The lecture just came on that kind of way. I said, and love if I say, your own of group, it over here, yeah, not ever. And she said, You more than me, sir. No, it's going to be fun that night. And she keep continuing saying it. So, I never fear it. But a few days when I sit down, it get to me. I don't have nothing else to say. <laughs> I don't want to say thank you. You never give up. With all the sickness, when we get there, you have something to tell me. Even the last day you were about to go, you told me that I <laughs> You have done a doctor to detector to come. Yeah, no friend, you are jumping in a dead thing when you are happy. That's it. Living so she will bring it to me. Can't tell my fishing there. She get answers, she will call me, come for it there. Then I said, Well, now, then, or what was it that you want to make it? See, to the house, all the children, what we get, they don't know the difference of the children. She don't talk to a child. A child do something, she will come to me, honey. Can't talk. So we continue doing that. I said, Well, they think what you're doing, and you're calling me to the children. Hmm. Yeah, when I talk again, hmm. anything what a child will do, she will come tell me. Then she's doing it to me. For me to be brave and take care of the children. Mm -hmm. This time though, my husband passed away. I don't know that I had children there. My sister had two. All my sister had some. They all went to my grandma. Me, I said it. From Morocco. So, I was doing two. Okay, I was children there. They together. You don't know the difference when they together. When you look at them, they look at me. And I'm telling you today, Mama. The same way we call the children, and then we call the children. <laughs> but you know, you know, they want blessing. They all the children blessing. Those who not see you, those who see you, get them blessing. Anything will hurt you, they get to finish. Today, we are not expecting them to be like that, but not it. That God do it. Yeah. That all we want to do yeah. be happening yeah. like that. Yeah. My rest in peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
God is great. Everybody came here and spoke English. I want to go the crown the tradition way. So you give me a little bit of chance. Ma Famata. Empty Famata. Grandma Fama. I'm on dark by time. You know you know about. For more. The community is not Et as a papa, tu n'as pas de mal. Tu as dit que 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 tu as dit Thank you, thank you, thank, thank everybody for coming home. All right, thank you. I don't, we don't even finish that yesterday, so thank you so much. Thank you. But um, I was supposed to take care of her that day. And then I had my, to, to go to take care of her because they had the virus. I told her, I'll be back at 6 o'clock to, to give you a bath and to put you to bed because that's, cause that's what we do at my job. So I was telling her, she was like, okay, okay, I'll wait for you. So I said, don't do anything crazy because you like getting up, going to go make food, go kill noodles and all that crazy thing. But, She's like, okay, Tina, I'll sit down. So she was, I was in the kitchen talking to my other grandma. She was drinking water and like choking. Hmm. So I went to her, it was, it's not normal for, cause it wasn't normal for her to sit up that day. She was just sitting cause she usually lay down cause she wasn't feeling good. So she was sitting up. When I came down to her at first, I looked at her like, hmm, something ain't right. But anyway, past that, she was aspirating from the water. She was choking, so I went to her I'm like, mama, you good? She said, yeah. I said, you sure, girl? She said, yeah. And then, you know, I said, you sure? She said, yeah. So I said, okay. Okay, I'm going to just go. So me and my cousin left. And I guess that was the last time I would talk to her. And um, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I didn't get to know you that much. I mean, I'm a little bit. I'm a little messed up in it. Uh, I hope you're resting in peace. Mm -hmm. Wherever you're at. Mm -hmm. That's all. But you're really cared for it and sorry for everything. <laughs> you know Jesus' name, amen. Can we rest a little bit? 
we know she's asleep. As the message came last night, as we know, she's only sleeping because we know we will meet her again. We will see her again. You will know her the way you know her right now. You will identify her when you are in the crowd. Mm -hmm. The relationship will be there at the same way it is here. 
It just she's only missing for a little while. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. We will be calling um, Sister Kumbayao for the obituary reading. Hello, everybody. Um, okay, let's just start. Famita Wie, 67, left us on May 9th, 2020, with her son and her family by her side in Buffalo, New York. Famita was born December 5th, 1953, in Firestone, Maryland County, Liberia, West Africa, to Nina Convia and Martha Wee. Her father was an overseer. Her mother was a homemaker. They lived in Maryland until Famita was an adult. Her mother and her father relocated with her and her family to Zwedru, Grand Gide County, Liberia. It was in Grand Gide County she met her father, her children's father, and started a family. Her career path included working as a farmer and a homemaker until the Civil War in Liberia started in 1989. Having fled the Civil War in her home country, Famisa and her children lived in Ivory Coast, returning to Liberia before resettling in Buffalo, New York in 2015. She devoted much of her time being a mother, a grandmother, and serving her Lord. Farmita is survived by many siblings and relatives. Her children, Norris, Janet, Mark, Cisco, Florence, Patience, and Princess. Her grandchildren, Makalin, and Marie, Marcus, Mercy, Darsko, Sorry. Mommy, Annie, Princeton, Future, Success, Cheryl B, Olivia, Moses, Love, Tita, Diamond, Princess, Darius, Prime, Beauty, Celine, Vivian, and Ralph. Thank you for your time. She, she raised her building before she left from here. Oh, she knows a lot of people represent yeah. her behind yeah. here. <laughs> In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Our God is good. All the time. Our God is good. All the time. All of the time. Okay, my team is here again. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Lay down, dear mother, lay down and take your rest. I'm going to lay your head upon your Savior's breast. I love you, but Jesus loves you best. I bid you good night, good night, good night. Oh, I bid you good night, good night, good night. I'm gonna lay your head upon your Savior's breast. I love you, but Jesus loves you best. I bid you good night, good night, good night, good night. Oh, I bid you good night, good night, good night. Oh, I bid you good night, good night. I'm going to lay your head upon your Savior's breast. We love you, but Jesus loves you best. I bid you good night, good night, good night. Walking through the valley and the shadow of death, good night, good night, good night. I love you, but Jesus loves you best, good night, good night, good night. Take your rest. I 
good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. She's walking through the valley of the shadow of death. Good night. Good night. Good night. I love you, but Jesus loves you best. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, I bid you good night. Good night. Good night. Mama, I bid you good night. Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord is good. What of the time? Today we'll be looking at a message from the book of Philippians. I the read the scripture we all heard it. To be one, one to talk to. You know, sometimes people do not show all the beautiful side of death. And today I'm going to be actually spending my time looking at the beautiful side, the side of death, not just the bad side. Amen? Amen. Because we feel right now that we lost. If we look at them, look at them to be like, I lost. There's nothing I gain. But that's not what the Bible said about death. If you read from Philippians uh, 21 to 23, it says, Death is a gain. It's a gain. So before I call my thing, I would first like to extend my heartfelt sympathy to the very family. Mother for matter. We want to let you know that our heart is with you in this difficult time. And it's all really painful. It is very painful. There's no way that we cannot face the fire. It is a tough time when our loved one dies. But if a matter of death was so untimely. We always stone. We know she was hurting, but it was not the time that we were expecting. It is hard to understand, but we have to face the reality. When 
Bible from that time has come. The Bible tells us in the book of Ecclesiastes that there is a time to born and there is a time to die. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we say thank you for who you are. Why well, it's time to speak to the Bereaved family. Family, friends, and relatives. We pray, Lord, that you fill all over the world. I will speak a word of wisdom, a word of comfort, that I will model the good and rest in peace. In Jesus' name. Amen. You know, in this, this, in this time of sorrow, we feel pains all over our body, and we're, one of the pain is that we don't see the beautiful side of death. All we see that right now, a loss of mother, a loss of auntie, or a loss of friend. That's all we see right now. But that's not what the Bible said to us. It said there were so many wonderful good things in death. And we found this very difficult. We, as family, even believers that accept Christ, they find it very difficult to know that death had a beautiful side. We find it very difficult to accept the fact. And them had a beautiful side. There are good things. We think death is the time of separation. We think death is sort of like a kind of monsters that when we see we all running away, we don't even want to go closer. We see them as a loss of a great life. We don't even see joy in death that comes upon us. All we think about death is loss, loss, and loss. But that is not what the Bible says. The Bible says death is a gain. Gain means that you acquire something. You are taking possession of something. It means death one is increase. You have an increase. You get an advantage. Amen. 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 Right now she got an advantage. She wear that you cannot go right now until you take off this earthly cloth and put on the cloth that she put on right now. That's the only way you can be there. So when Paul say to die is gain, it means that death is getting an advantage, it's acquiring something as it's taking possession of. But what does people gain when they die? Because most of all here today, I think we want to live the rock. But what do people gain when they die? What is she acquiring right now? What is she taking possession of in this world? Let's find an answer to this. First, I'll not forget that Paul was not just speaking to worldly people, he was speaking to Christians. Because the reason Paul was speaking to Christians because he was speaking to people who were at the same level that were understanding what he was saying. So when you are in Christ, you got to understand what Paul is saying to you. That death is a gain, it's not a loss. And it is the only way you can understand it when you are a believer. So if you not accept Christ, there's an opportunity for you to accept Christ too. Amen. 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 Mm. He indicated that if a person died, they had a right relationship with Jesus. When they died, there are several blessings. Mm. Understand? When a person died, when they have a right relationship with Jesus, when they die, there's several blessings that they all will receive. They will be looking at no blessings. Our Lord Jesus himself has promised a multitude of blessings to those who believe in him when they die. No, not the believer, not the believer that gained when he died, but the one that believed in had a right relationship with Christ. It is my hope that it will bring both comfort to the family, to friends, and to Martha, Martha herself. Amen? Amen. Amen. I'm looking at three uh, blessings that come with life that you've got to look at. When you are in a real relationship and you die, the first thing that comes is a perfect life. Mm. You're going to live a perfect life. Mm. Let me tell you that the other life is subject to so many circumstances and conditions that we live in. We are living in this earth that full of trials and tribulations. We are subject to joy and disappointments always. Mm. We are subject to the process of growing and aging. Mm. 
whenever sicknesses come, we, we begin to forget about who we are. We no longer look at our ages again. Even we are going 65, but we still want to go back to 20 because we enjoy the world so much that we miss the beautiful side of death. Sometimes we feel happy, sometimes we feel disappointed. That's how the world look. Sometimes we feel pleasure and sometimes we feel pain. As time goes by, we change from one condition to another condition. Mm. But in heaven, it is a perfect life. Mm. There's no ups and down conditions in heaven. Mm. Once you have the right relationship with Christ and you die, you acquire that perfect body where disappointments and trials and tribulations have no, have no room in your life anymore. Mm. And that was said in Revelation 21 verse 4. It said, and God will wipe away every tears from your eyes. Mm -hmm. And there shall be no more death, no more sorrow, no more crying. Do you see the blessing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's one of the blessings. Mm -hmm. Whenever you have a perfect relationship with Christ and you die, he's, he promised you in Revelation that God will to wipe away your tears. <laughs> it's not only Jesus, mm -hmm. but God himself will wipe away your tears. Mm -hmm. And then he will take away the sorrow and take away the pain. Which means you're going to live a life where there's no sorrow, there's no disappointment. Trust me, man. The Easter grand that there is it, it, different. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Yeah. He said, There shall be no pain, for the former things have passed away. Mm -hmm. The heavy life is hustle free. Every day we struggle to live a life. Isn't it so? Mm -hmm. Every day we have to go to work. We're working for people. You, what are you doing on life? You only hustle. Mm -hmm. You are, good, you are a good hustler. Yeah. Any car you ride, it's a hustling car. Mm -hmm. But trust me, if that car broke down, you've been disappointed the car that you put all your life in. Mm -hmm. But in heaven, hustle free. Mm -hmm. Right now, we would cry. Whatever you say here, yeah, my father mother has put that body down a long time. Mm -hmm. That pain, that hustle lifestyle, she's done with it. When she had to make fun before her children. Look at the story of rich, the rich man, Lazarus and the rich man. Mm. Amen. Amen. Mm. The rich man got up. But Lazarus was a suffering man, but he had the perfect relationship with Christ. Mm. But the rich men were around all the best cars. So when they entered up to the place for them to meet God, there was two different roles. Mm. The rich man, Herodias, had to go the different way, and Lazarus had to go the different way. And then the rich man was calling Lazarus, and Abraham was beginning to tell the rich man, Oh no, your days is over. Mm. At the time Lazarus was suffering, Lazarus was paving his way to see Christ. Mm. So Lazarus is where there's no one can touch. Amen. Amen. We all are here today, we're crying for Martha Mata. If you want to see Martha Mata, you got to change your lifestyle around. Mm. Amen. Amen. You can't say because oh, I'm half a mother, so I'm half a mother, sister, so my dad. No, 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 no. You die, you're not going to see her. Mm -hmm. The only way you're going to see Mafa Mata until you bring your two feet together and follow the road that she follows. Then when you die, you're going to meet Mafa Mata. Amen. Mm -hmm. So I'm not giving no assurance there that you live any kind of life when you go, you see Mafa Mata. That's not going to work because she put on a whole different body. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go to the second life, uh, the second blessing after perfect life. Perfect home. Home with our roaches and rats. That's the next home she want right now. Amen? When life is perfect, no disappointment. Oh, nobody bring me food. Nobody do this. Nobody. No, no, no. She done with that stuff. Now she moved into a home where you don't carry roaches. No landlord to her door. No mortgage. No. She, she mortgage free. No rent. No water bill, no electric bill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a perfect home that she moved into right now. Mm -hmm. Our world is full of trouble, evils, and destruction. Mm -hmm. We tear one another down as we live in this world. Mm -hmm. What is the evil world that we live in? Mm -hmm. It is so easy to see. If you read newspaper, if you read TV, if you listen to TV and you listen to radio, the evil become more and more worse yes. that we live in today. If you wake up in the morning, that I, like, like my wife, she, she we used to have TV. She she, she really used to like the CNN, and anytime she came from CNN, I had to get her talent. 
I'm telling you the true story. Yeah. Because, because you can bring the news from downstairs. Mm -hmm. But you bring the news from downstairs, but that's what happened. Ah, today, by us, I said, why be you want small people? Now, girl, what does she drink? <laughs> so I told her, I said, I mean, I can watch news, but I think the CNN making you sick. You understand me? Because if the men that bring the news, it generally, you must pass through, you must pass through the town. You understand? Yeah, we, we, live, we, live, we live in a trouble world. The world is so cruel in a way that they do not see the beautiful self of God. That's it. In Jesus' name. Amen. The beautiful self of death. When you transfer, you transfer from this evil world, you move into a perfect home. A true life and happiness. When you, you can see her right now, she even saw her smile going. Because she got to tell you that, oh, you said, oh, to a man be cry. So you let cry. But as for me, I'm done with it. Amen. I don't want a place where all the time you be seeing tears and people worrying why they were eating in the morning, they worrying. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't get the kids pushing you on the wall. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to try your better look for a meal that you're not, you're not planning to get in the morning. <laughs> you should done with all those things in Jesus' name. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Hallelujah. Friends, if you were going to be like my from mother this morning, what would you say? What will you consider this morning? What are you going to choose between life or death? Death is a friend. And it's not an option for you to say, I will choose. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Mm -hmm. yep. The house, everybody had their house. Is that because of the house, people go to church every morning. Let me make it very clear to you. You see the house? When you get in there, you are alone. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. They were your good deeds and your bad deeds will be judged. Mm -hmm. mm. In Jesus' name. Amen. The next thing is material things. And how we transition our life every day. Some of us live in, we live in this week, we live in the wicked world just going after materials. Mm -hmm. How many of you say you came in uh, 2000, you came, you are never throwing nothing away? Even when the garbage can, you still pack it. <laughs> Amen. Amen. She done with all those things. Mm. She done with all the temporal lifestyle. The world is subject to corruption. The one that's supposed to be for the whole world to enjoy. One person sit under the cell of ash alone should enjoy, and the rest of the people suffer mm. over poverty. Mm. What kind of evil world are we living in? Mm. We do not come to stay here, we passing by. Mm -hmm. So we should prepare our place to where we're going to go. Mm -hmm. Some all have material possession. We stop being in material we, feel, we, we, we do not see the word of God. Yeah, you have to come time in your life to say enough is enough. You have to come in life. Trust me, all the beauty we got, time will come, our beauty will be gone away. And we have to face the real reality of life. And that is the real reality of life. What you face is not reality. What you face is a hustle. But the real, real reality of life is here. Somebody in the place, as I you're scared to see my father right now. The way you're scared. Amen? Amen. I'm wanting you to make death your friend. Yeah, make death your friend. Amen? Amen. Make death your friend. We do not even fellowship. One day we made friends, the next day they pray we made us another friend. Mm -hmm. Some of us sitting in the room will have four or five friends. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of use and I say call the friends. Mm -hmm. No one to trust, no one to believe. Mm -hmm. Now if you quite offend them, remember that you can pull your hold and trust me. Mm -hmm. The next day they will disappoint you. Mm -hmm. What's a cruel world we live in? Mm -hmm. If we talk about this thing, we call it the earthly thing. If we put the earthly thing, we pick up what? A new thing. And our new ten had no room for any fifth person. Mm. Mm. There's no such thing in heaven. There's no conflict. There's no hustle there. All we do is to worship God. The last blessing of perfect nature. Three blessings, you know? Mm -hmm. That was the first one. How was the first blessing? Mm -hmm. See, everywhere you were shaking your head, you were hearing it. Mm -hmm. 
Perfect life, yes, sir? Mm -hmm. After perfect life, perfect home. Perfect. Mm -hmm. After perfect home now, we do a perfect nature. Just look around. Mm -hmm. You will see a lot of imp imperfection right now. Mm -hmm. Now most of you here, you can't speak to one another, but we have to meet here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's very imperfect, yes, sir? Mm -hmm. Very imperfect. Some of you we pretend that we, we hang out with people, but the people we hang out with, they are not the people we really love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, the, that's the nature we said we find ourselves around. Mm -hmm. This world is full of so much hypocriticism, it's full of so much hatred, and it's full of so much jealousy and envy that in a way that we don't enjoy the perfect relationship of Christ. Mm -hmm. We go to church, we dance, we put on all the shoes, and we sweat, and when people see us, they say, oh, we receive Christ. Mm -hmm. But when we walk out, we put on the same old clothes. Mm -hmm. The same hatred we take from whom we put into the car, after mm -hmm. God bless us, we take the hatred from the door and put it right back in the car and go back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One need to see himself right now, before the mirror, and look at your own flaws. Look at your mistakes. Look at the imperfect life that in your life that you need to work on. Sometimes pride keeps us away from people. Sometimes we refuse to come down to the level of our friends. Sometimes we refuse to submit. Sometimes we refuse to forgive. But we still are Christians and we want to go to heaven. There is no flawless thing in heaven. Brother, every one of us are here, we all have mistakes, we all have past. Mm -hmm. There's no one in this room that tells me, say, oh, I'm perfect. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you see the body? It can deteriorate. Hmm. Yes. The body, but anyway, you are in everything. When you are black, you want a little red. When you are red, you want a little green. When you are green, you want a little yellow. The body can go away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The body of my mother is a whole different body. <laughs> and trust me, you're going to have body. But you know what happened? That body is not going to be your earthly body. It's going to be your heavenly body. Mm -hmm. It's the body that do not deteriorate. It's guaranteed and prepared by God that it will be able to withstand every good thing in life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Tomorrow I had an attitude that people don't like. Sometimes we make a wrong decision and then we take our failures and blame what say people make us fail. We do not take responsibility of our own failure. We have a defective nature that is around us. Different lifestyle that we have to look at to tell people say that when we are a Christians, then we have to be believer. We have to be one can hurt you and you have to let it go. One can tell you sorry and you have to forgive them. We we do not have to hold things until we take it to our grave. Amen. When you die, when you die, you're no longer subject to imperfection. You become a perfect person. You no longer have communication with defective people, people who do not see death from the beautiful side, people who do not see Christ from the beautiful side. Why it is true that a person will not receive that perfect body right now, at this moment, of the physical death, but she has a hope and an assurance that when Jesus returns, she will be caught in the cloud. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. When I had a conversation with somebody, I said, but me, it, I don't think I'm going to die before Jesus comes. Mm -hmm. So when Jesus comes, where will I be? Well, you're going to be here. But depend on whether you, you're going to be caught in the cloud. Because mm -hmm. those that ground will wake up and you're the only ground to with me. Mm -hmm. So if someone if someone is standing by, that will be two, you're going to be a friend. Mm -hmm. But one will disappear. Mm -hmm. All depends how they have a relationship with Christ. Mm. We have to reach to the point when we get here, we feel that we so much love man for man. Mm. So much. Mm. We get to the place we feel that we so much love Christ. Right now we, we look like monkeys. You know when the monkeys are in the tree? Once you shoot one, the whole place stand quiet. They must not worry who died. But in less than five minutes, they pick up their monkey behavior. Amen. 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 So right now we are thinking about Mafa Mata. That we are about to take Mafa Mata. Is it so? Mm -hmm. We all, we all will be feeling that sorrow. 
Pastor. Mm. Pastor. Ah, many pastors. Mm. Amen. It will not be the same people who are crying, it will be a whole different people. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Are you seeing the imperfections of life that we are living? I want you to take on three blessings from death and see the beautiful side of it. Perfect life, perfect home, and the perfect nature. When you see death from that side, trust me, whenever you want to see my father, you will see her again. Amen. May God bless the family. Amen. I want you to take heart. And we all have flaws, we make mistakes. But it is time, if you really love somebody you really want to see, then you really want to put yourself in, in the land of Christ so you can be able to meet your family. Amen. May God give you the heart and may God control you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let us rise. Father, we say thank you. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes. We are blessed to have a mother that lead away for us. She's a very slow to anger and slow in speech. And that's what the Bible wants from us. May we be able to pick up such a characteristics to follow Christ. Lord, we pray that you guide and strengthen this family. She's an advisor to a lot of them. We pray that our voice will remain in their ears. We pray that Martha Mother will shower her family with that blessing, Lord. That the family will be more united than ever before. Mm -hmm. But whenever a strong person falls, God always will raise somebody else. Mm -hmm. We pray that God will raise another for Mother in this family in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We'll cover the children into your hand. Especially the one, Mark, who is here with us. That you are giving the heart to overcome. And continue to be there for his family. We pray that the family will gather their hands around him and see the goodness in him <coughs> and bring out the beauty of him so he can be the man that God wants him to be. Mm -hmm. We pray for the family back home. They have a great loss and they have not even seen their mother as she began to depart this world. Mm -hmm. May the heavenly father stretch his hand towards them and strengthen them in these difficult times in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. We said thank you to friends and family that left their business clear. You that even take risks to say, look, even without all the restrictions, we are going to get help of the fellow to bury. Mm -hmm. May God continue to bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We just want to say thank you. Mother, as we are about to leave to go to your new home, mm -hmm. we pray, Lord, that you will be the driver of all kinds, mm -hmm. that your angels will leave us in the good and the right way. Mm -hmm. We just want to say thank you. Thank you. Let me the Holy Spirit come and take absolute control now. Mm -hmm. And let me the will be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. 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 Are you ready?
behalf of my family in the community, the Sierra community, uh, we want to sympathize and empathize with the family. I was waiting for one of my board members that has the card, that I have not seen him up to now. Uh, when my wife told me, I was trying to picture this person until when I saw the photo. I remember after the time when we have a program, you guys have a program, I come. She will come and hug me, and I was trying to miss this person. And now I saw the photo come back to me. Yeah. Our hospitality goes a long way. And I know we, the man of God, preach a great word that will take us to another dimension. Let's put our hands together for me. Yeah. Yeah. That word. That word Really, it is for us mm -hmm. to have a reflection of our life. She is gone to be in a better place. And how we treat one another. What I can remember now and recall is our hospitality. Mm -hmm. That hug. I should thank you for coming. It goes a long way. Mm -hmm. And I want to encourage this family. Uh, you have lost a mother. But she is in a better place. Amen. Mm -hmm. The man of God, make it plain and simple as we need words like this mm -hmm. in a time like this. Mm -hmm. If you want to join her in that better place, we have to reflect and look at our lives. Mm -hmm. The man of God stated that we all have missed, we have done mistakes. Mm -hmm. But to turn to a new page, if we want to be with her, and I look at her now, she's smiling on us. Mm -hmm. But I would you, somebody who have lost a loved one, to I lost my father and wife, cry when you need to. But don't cry as if you don't know the law. Yes. That's all I will say. That's right. Because sometimes we say don't cry. It's tough. Mm. It's sometimes a little depression. Mm -hmm. Because people have been holding it long for mm -hmm. too long. Mm -hmm. I experienced that. Mm. And I will urge you, if you want to cry, remember the good things that you enjoyed with her. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the son was kneeling down, she he knelt down here and he said, I will remember what you told me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Those right. are the important things that helps me to rise up when I lost my father. Mm -hmm. What would my father want me to do now? Mm -hmm. Is to reflect on the things that he was telling me. Mm -hmm. And you will make her a better and she will continue to rejoice for you and I will urge you and encourage you to remember those things as she promised. Mm. To all of us, let's take heart, be encouraged. We have lost somebody that is dear to us. Mm -hmm. But she is looking at us and saying, are you guys crazy? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> in a perfect life. Right. I, I heard the man of God preach. This is one of the simplicity message I've ever heard. Right. <laughs> he said, you guys are crazy. Mm -hmm. You are living in a home where there is mortgage, mortgage, and all this crazy <laughs> fighting, and I'm yeah, enjoying I'm really it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I want to sympathize with this family, empathize our car we're going to bring it later mm -hmm. uh, with this family, because this is uh, somebody who churches many lives. Mm -hmm. And I urge you, no matter how, what, what you are going through, try to church somebody's life. Mm -hmm. Because this is what they will talk about you. Mm -hmm. When he was here, when she was here, mm -hmm. this is what he or she did to me. Mm -hmm. It's not what the bad stuff. And I want to encourage all of us to be encouraged and to take heart. But let's try to 
touch one another's life. Mm -hmm. Somebody have done wrong to you, let it go. Mm -hmm. Let's embrace one another and build a perfect and a wonderful community. Mm -hmm. Because together, that's the only way we can build this community. That's right. By tearing us, tearing us one another apart, we cannot build this community. Mm -hmm. I think that's what the mother was trying to tell our children. I don't care who you are. We see what is happening in Africa today. Mm -hmm. We see what is happening in the world. There are so many turmoil. Mm -hmm. But I want to urge all of you and encourage us. Let's build this community. Mm -hmm. Let's build this community. Our children are looking up to us. Mm -hmm by how we hold, talk to one another, how yeah. we help one another. That's how we build it. That's right. And God bless you. Mm. And I'm glad to be here in behalf of my family and the community, the community. Amen. We sympathize and empathize with you. Amen. May our soul continue to rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, so now, the line will go back this way. Mm -hmm. That's with you. And then I will close out. So, family first. Yeah, take it. Family first, family first. Yeah, the language. Let it go. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Keep going back that way. The view, the view. Mm -hmm. All right, you keep going. Just take this out of the way. That way, that way. Yeah, that's cool. You chair and then let to us. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Keep coming. Okay. 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 Everything stays right. They are closing the, the cancer right now. So, um, we are here to give the cemetery right now. So, uh, since I'm going to rest in peace, uh, we love you. God love you the best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's suspended. This is the last thing. Sarah. Sarah. Yeah, the sneak by Sarah. There is a last year of the Sacramento here. The American, you're calling the guy that I come. Okay. As you see, the post is a plastic. Oh, it's so hard to believe. Yeah, it's very hard to believe. Mama, rest in peace. Love you, God love you the best. See, it's the last thing. Sebastian and Sefanita.
In front of you. Let a go in front of you. I'm going to go far on the road. Yeah, he says he's better at us.
I allowed to go closer? You have to wait for them to clear the grid. Okay. We're gonna pull up, okay? Okay. Did he show me that paper? Yes. It's I like confusing, but you know what? I told him I'm not even sure what I want. Do you have a passing place? Yeah. Okay, then it's the right one. But it's not my job to figure out. The plant, the, the, the sign, that's for the grass. Uh, that's for the grass.
more rare in our present body, and we long to put on the heavenly body like a new clothing. For we will put on the heavenly body, and we will not be spirit without a body. Why we live in this heavenly body? We grow and we sigh because it is not that we want to die and get rid of this body and close the door. Rather, we want to put on the new body so that the dying body will be sort of alive. I'm 
As much as the Almighty God to take out this world, the soul of Mother for Matter, we therefore commit our body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Looking for that blessed hope upon the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. With a voice of the happy, the world of God, and the dead in Christ will be When which we are alive with me, we shall be caught up together with them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with him.
So when the mother fell asleep, they cut to us as a community. We want to take this time to come to the family. Tell the family sorry. See the community members have been coming in and out since here. Not know a day that they will not pass it. Just a mark. From the community standpoint, we are here tonight to identify with you. Not just today, but the community standpoint. Everything you do in this community is not wasted. You might feel that it's wasted, but people are looking at you. So I will pass it over to my president. Yes, to finish the war. sir. Thank you oh, very much. That, that was president. <laughs> oh, that was my DJ. Yeah, oh, that was my DJ. 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 That that community, that community can be a community of success. Yeah. Uh, he's the backbone to everything. And then we that follow next, we begin to do as much we can to keep the people up together. Mm -hmm. You know, we, as he said again, we're playing a dual role into this um, community. We are on the um, religious side and also we on the community side. So we always um, be in between and between us because God comes first and he said don't and the people have to follow so mm -hmm. we always we go for God and then we go to the community and bring our people yeah. then we offer the everything for in place so I mean he said it Mark you know he has been our son brother who has been in this community he's one of the very good guy very respectful dedicated son who when he'll say something he take the road to do it even it's gone all was running for we had the team went down a little bit because of most of the guys out of them went out of this, uh, you know, the players are out of Buffalo. But, you know, they begin to, you know, get themselves together. And he was, he's the matter on ground. And he yeah. put a team together. Yeah, yeah. We had a tournament. 
they are, you know, our team won. So they told me because they are all star because all those that were here that were playing for our team that left the place came back and then they merged and we they established a team because of him as a chief. You know, they call him the Donian. So he's the one that hosted them and brought everything together and it was great. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was man. very, very great. There before. You know, and um, we won the cup and we won a tournament. Now with the enthusiasm, they still continue with the children today, today. Oh. Yeah, so I mean, as you say again, we come as a family, the community people that you saw around coming in, they did the best they could do, you know, and everybody, the church came and they met with the family the last time and the community is coming to meet the family. So the community is coming with the amount of $600 to give to the family and uh, through Brother Mark and a uh, and, uh, ma. As you said, I see, as you know, said, we can't forget this family because this family is our family and it will continue to be our family because once our son stay with us, we will still continue to be here and as a chief of this whole community and the men that can make things happen, once he's around, we stay with you people. So we, it's not about money. We know what the situation mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. But the little thing you're turning around yeah. and be able to do when the little thing come about, we will be able to come together. So the community put hand together. This is what we were able to come to oh, man. to be able to get to the family. So yeah, it is, man. You can hold it, please. We beg you. Let the family be able to take care of some other things that are in areas and then be able to move forward. Thank you. Wow. God bless you all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm still doing it. So we're coming out. Thank you so much. I'm and to you guys. Thank you very much. I want to say that no, they're not in the community. We are more than a community here. We are family. Yes. On behalf of the family, I want to say thank you very much. We are very grateful to be on you guys. Mm. If you Oma, before the Oman could pass, you guys were there, especially Mr. Kamara and my sister, they are always there. We not consider this community. We not consider you guys as a leader, as a community, but as a family now. Thank you very much again.